Yeah, and that's one thing that I've I've learned is is that everybody's like, well, if you teach them everything that you're gonna do, like, are are you think they're just gonna take your systems and and go do it yeah. themselves? <laughs> I'm like, I swear to God, that's the stupidest thing you've ever heard. Okay, <laughs> if you're worried about that, you're not a true business owner. Right. Okay, that's like me hiring somebody here. Um, and just give them enough to do the work, but not giving them enough to to know exactly what's going on. That's like a lot of these jobs. That's what makes you yep. want to leave. You know. Yep. What would you say to anyone looking to get uh, started in real estate? Not. I'm not saying they have to be wholesaling. But what's the what's the thing that they need to do? Um, you know, what's the best way to get started in in real estate? Not necessarily wholesaling, just in real estate in general. Um, great question. It's kind of really broad. Um, I'm gonna just stick to what I said earlier. Mm-hmm. Find a coach and do what they say to a T. Like, yep. do Every like overdo it because ninety nine percent of people are not doing that. So you're going to all already be ahead of everyone. Like you're going to get a deal in your first month if you do it to a T versus someone like me who was halfway doing it for like two years <laughs> and then finally got a deal and you know and then you know it's crazy, bro. Yeah. My first deal, I probably could have made like twenty thousand dollars. My my assignment fee was two thousand dollars. I was happy with that, but if I was taking action from when I first learned, by mm-hmm. the time I came across that deal, if I would have came across it, you know, I would have already knew how much money I could have got for it. But since I was taking a little bit of action at a time, I was learning slow and, mm-hmm. you know, I was geeked to sell it and I only made a little bit of money. So I would just say whatever avenue you're going, um, pick it, get a coach and do everything. Um, it's like as much as you can, like, like, like Randy mentioned earlier, you either got time or you got money, you know, if you got money, invest, learn, learn how to leverage the yep. money. You know, if you get in a virtual assistant, learn what that looks like having a virtual assistant before you get it. Cause you're going to get it. Cause me, I had me and my partner, we had like five virtual assistants at one time and we lost so much money because we wasn't spending the time, um, training them properly. Right. You know? wasn't spending the time training them properly and coaching them i learned that you need to coach your your virtual assistant every day you can't expect them to do what you didn't teach them mm-hmm. you know so if you're going to invest more money um really learn what you're investing it in and how it works you know and commit to that before you even do it so you don't know, don't waste your money that i preach that brother right there i'm telling you man <laughs> uh, i I I'm actually doing that now. So I have a virtual assistant right now that every new virtual assistant I do, I got to do a training out with them. And it's not just do a one week training and that's it. Like right now I'm on a weekly schedule with them. So um, as I go, I'm listening to their calls. If I see something that I think I need to be corrected right away, I'll text them and let them know, hey, let's change this real quick, and then we'll we'll go from there. But in the next – in that week session, I'll have all these recordings that I think we can learn from, and we'll go – we'll spend about a half hour to 45 minutes going over these calls, figuring out exactly what we need – what we can do differently, how we can change it, maybe have her – repeat some stuff back to me so i know she understands he or she you know right now i'm working with a girl virtual assistant um and understanding like exactly what needs to be done by the way if you've reached to right now in the whether you're in the playback or you're in the live i have i've been recording those sessions right now i've only done a couple of them but if you want me to post them in my facebook group let me know Leave a comment and let me know and, and to see if you want to see those reactions and see those how we're doing that. If we do, I'm just going to bleep the addresses from those calls, but I have no problem posting those 
let me know what you think. So, um, but that's what I've been doing and I'm going to continue doing that every week until yeah. things get perfect. You know, they're never going to get Absolutely. perfect, you know, but, and things will start slipping. Everyone has life. Life gets in the way, you know, loved ones pass away, blah, blah, blah. It affects us differently, you know, but we just have to be on top of things and understanding, you know, it's, it's part of management. It's part of everything. So it'll eventually go from a weekly to a monthly training, you know? So, because there's no point for a weekly, if, if she's doing so well, there'll it'll eventually just go for longer and be like, okay, let's just do a recap. How's everything going? Any concerns? If there's any immediate concerns, we'll, we bring it up, you know? Um, but yeah, I uh, get yeah, 100% with that. I mean, and where are you getting your VAs from? Uh, so I have my, so right now I have one VA right now. Okay. And she's been with me for about two years. And um, I actually got her from another wholesaler, uh, Michael Heater. Oh yeah, I know. I know Michael Hater. Yeah, he had quite a few at a time, and I think she was only part time for him at the time. Mm -hmm. And she was new, and he realized that you know he really needed to let one go, Uh, and I needed one. So you know he introduced me to her. She was new. She didn't. She just was starting out in real estate. She had like I think AT and T experience, like call Mm -hmm. center, and we just hit it off from there, bro. One thing I want to say about virtual assistants. Um, I like to really build relationships with them because it's yep. not so much about here. Here's your job. Like, I want to know them and you want to you want to just build a relationship because you can trust them. You can see this person's character. They'll they'll see your character and they're going to want they're going to want to be a rock star for you. because She is a rock right. star. Like she can do anything. <laughs> like mm-hmm. She can do anything. And I learned a lot from her. It first started out with me teaching her and now she's teaching me certain things and I, I trust her like i don't even have to like she overproduces like when we had her and other virtual assistants she was like really outworking everyone naturally because she just you know loved the, um being with a with a, a team that you know that she can have longevity with you know so right that's awesome so yeah and that's one thing that i've i've learned is is that everybody's like well if you teach them everything that you're going to do, like, are, are you think they're just going to take your systems and, and go do it themselves? <laughs> I'm like, I swear to God, that's the stupidest thing you've ever heard. Okay. <laughs> if you're worried about that, you're not a true business owner. Right. Okay. That's like me hiring somebody here um, and just giving them enough to do the work, but not giving them enough to, to know exactly what's going on. That's like a lot of these jobs. That's what makes you want to leave, you know? Yep. So I want to be able to um, empower people. I want to, you know, I want them to be able to think for themselves, do for themselves, and understand that I want them to grow in this position. You know, I want them to grow with us. I want so because if if I help you grow, we both grow because you're you're doing it with me. Hundred percent, bro. You know, so um, you know, we're coming up to the end here. But is there anything that the audience here can help you with moving forward in your business, whatever that may be? Um, and how do they contact you? Okay, that's a great question. Um, I would just say, you know, if you have any interest in, you know, just growing as a human, whether that's in real estate or whatever, like just reach out to me and come to the meetups. You know, that's all mm-hmm. I ask for. Like, I'm not, I'm, I'm just looking to help people, you know, help people yep. um, figure out what they want to do. Like a lot of times when I, when I start talking to somebody, like if I'm doing a consultation with yep. somebody, It'll start out about wholesaling and then it'll end up when they, they'll tell me like, man, you should be a life coach or something yeah. like that. So it doesn't have to be real estate related. Like if you just need somebody to talk to, like, you know, call me. Uh, my number is 313-949-8834. Um, we do um, a real estate meetup every two Saturdays of the month, every first Saturday and 
every third Saturday. We used to do it every week, but mm-hmm. you know, I I go to another power hour as well and I okay. I want to be I want to be able to network as much as possible, so I promote theirs as well as mine. Mm-hmm. Um and theirs is more so with people who have experience calling and they're just making cold calls to get deals. Ours is more so for the same people as well as people who don't know what they're doing because we literally teach you how to talk to sellers. We teach mm-hmm. you the, the questions you need to ask. Um, we teach you how to get buyers. We have buyers. We are buyers. So it's just yep. a place. It's just an environment to come and learn because I, I just believe that you just need three things to be successful. And that's just um, an environment, the right environment, um, cultivation and mm-hmm. opportunity. And that's it. So Most definitely. So no, I, I 100% agree with that. And I think anybody who wants to learn or wants to be around like-minded people, like get a hold of Kevin. And, you know, I highly, highly do recommend him. Um, you know, is is an awesome guy. And just for everybody to have it, what's that number again? Uh, 313-949-8834. Mm-hmm. And I'm on Instagram uh, heavy, more so than Facebook. So my, my Instagram is just the number one. And then my name, Kevin Brooks. So add me on Instagram as well. Uh, okay. Shoot me a DM. Shoot me a DM on, on Facebook or call me, text me. That's great. Awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to end this. I Hold on behind the scenes, and then we'll talk after this, and we'll go from there, all right? For sure, bro. All right. Thank you, everyone. I really do appreciate. I really do appreciate you coming here and I, uh, you know, spending the time uh, with us on today and having, like, this is this was really great for me with, you know, between me and Kevin. Like, we're both great wholesalers. Well, he's a great wholesaler. I'm just a wholesaler. So, <laughs> um, I'm just here along for the ride, and you know, just trying to go from here, but. I, I want to teach and uh, as many people how to do this as possible and to do it the right way. So uh, with that being said, I still have a full-time day job. As you can see, I'm in a hotel right now for my day job. Uh, but, you know, I like my day job. I probably won't be leaving my day job for quite a while. Um, I have different motivation than other people. I, but with that being said, I still... I, I I still love real estate. I love wholesaling, and I love teaching other people. So, um, with you know, get a hold of me. My number is right here at the bottom: five eight six three zero seven four seven six five. If you ever want a JV, I have buyers uh, as well. So get in touch. In the meantime, we're gonna have another guest. I'm not sure who yet. I uh, we're gonna have another guest in two weeks from today. So. And until then, let's all do deals together. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too. Sneaking looks up and down from across the room. Damn, what a hell of a view. I 